Taylor Swift topped the charts on Friday after the release of her 10th studio album Midnights on October 21. The 32-year-old singer-songwriter secured double chart domination with the album and its lead single Anti-Hero both landing number one spots. The hitmaker fended off stiff competition from Arctic Monkeys to take the top spot in the UK albums chart and also broke a number of other records. The pop superstar's album became the fastest selling of the year so far and overtook Harry Styles' chart topping Harry's House which previously held the 2022 title, according to the official charts company. Taylor released Midnights on October 21st which racked up 204,000 chart sales in just seven days, more than doubling her previous personal best of 90,300 which she achieved with her album 1989, in 2014. The album release is the biggest first week of sales, since Adele dropped 30 last November, and has had 72. 5 million streams in 7 days. Taylor is now competing with Madonna to set a new official chart record with the fastest succession of 9 UK number 1 albums of any female artist. Taylor Swift's Midnights becomes first album to sell 500,000 vinyl copies in one week The Bad Blood singer first topped the charts with her album Red 10 years ago in October. Whereas it took Madonna 21 years to reach the same tally but does now have 12 overall UK number one albums to her name. The Beatles hold the overall record of nine chart toppers in five years and seven months. Though Taylor is catching up to Madonna she has surpassed Kylie Minogue who followed in second place. Midnights after Taylor's previous eight UK chart-topping albums, all achieved consecutively, 2012's Red, she released 1989 and 2014, 2017's Reputation, 2019's Lover, 2020's Folklore, 2020's Evermore and Re-Recordings Fearless, Taylor's Version, and Red, Taylor's Version, both released in 2021. Her success ends Arctic Monkeys' streak of six UK number one albums but they put up a fight with their new seventh studio album, The Car, taking the second spot with more than 100,000 chart sales in its opening week. Elsewhere in the UK singles chart, Taylor also soared straight to the top with Antihero. This comes after the music video for Antihero was altered to remove the word fat from one of its scenes due to criticism from some fans and public figures on social media suggesting the scene encouraged fat phobia. There are 20 songs on Midnight's Deluxe Edition and two of them have come in the top five this week, with Lavender Hayes at number three and her collaboration with Lana Del Rey on Snow on the Beach taking fourth place. Midnights by Taylor Swift, an in-depth look at the lyrics and meaning of each song The success does not stop there as with the double success, Taylor is the female artist to adopt the UK albums and singles chart simultaneously since Miley Cyrus in 2013. Spotify announced after the album drop that it had broken the record for most streamed album in a single day. Taylor has also just confirmed that she will be embarking on a tour to support her record-breaking new album as she revealed the exciting news during an appearance on the Grand Norton show filmed this week. Although there are currently no dates set in stone, Swift assured the audience that the tour will be happening soonish. Swift began the interview by saying that she and her team were getting ready to go on tour in the future. We will sometime soonish. It's going to happen. We will do it and it will be great, she said, according to People. The Sweet Nothing singer then remarked that she was thrilled about her fans' response to her album. 
she did state, however, that her fans deserved credit for Midnight's immediate success on Spotify, as the streaming service's servers temporarily crashed upon its release.